Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Sudachi Nintendo Switch emulator for Windows and make it completely portable. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to set up the new Nintendo Switch emulator. Uh, since Yuzu's gone, we have Suyu and then we have Sudachi. And this is the latest release as of three days ago. So if you go to the link in the description, we can scroll on down. And there's going to be the Windows releases here, either zip format or 7-zip. Uh, I downloaded the 7-zip, it flagged my computer. There's probably nothing wrong with it, but my computer wouldn't let me download it, so I, I did the dot .zip and I had no issues. But you would just left click on there and download it. The other thing you're going to need is some firmware, and I can't show you where to get this unfortunately, but I'm going to be using firmware 18.0.0. And then you're going to need your product and title keys. And I, I can't show you where to get those, but if, if you do a quick Google search, you'll be able to find both of these files pretty easily. So what we're going to do is I have the 7-zip file. Uh, I finally got it to go, um, but you can download either or whatever works for you. And once you have your 7-zip or just your .zip, you'll right click. And I am using 7-zip to extract, but I'm going to go to Extract 2. So I'm going to click there, and it's going to extract to a folder named the same as the file. So this is just telling us the version number so what I want to do is right click on the folder rename and then we're gonna go ahead and just name it Sudachi or whatever you so choose and then we are going to open it up and before we run the emulator let's right click on a blank space go to new folder and call this all underscore USER user. While I'm here, I'm going to right click on a blank space again, new folder, and I'm going to make this one, whoops, games. Just like this. So now what I'm going to do is just add a game. You can add as many as you want. I'm just going to use one for this tutorial. Now we want to run the emulator. So I'm going to go ahead and run sudachi.exe. So now that we're in Sudachi, it's going to tell us our encryption keys are missing. We're going to hit OK. And anonymous data is collected. Do you want to share it? I'm going to put no, but you can put yes if you want. We're going to double click right here and choose the games folder we created. So I'll double click on my games folder, select folder, just like that. Next thing we want to do is go to Tools, Install Decryption Keys, and I have mine on my desktop. So here are my keys, prod.keys. Click Open, click OK. Now you can see our, our game, or if you have more, our games populated. Now we'll go to Tools, Install Firmware. Now I have mine on my desktop. So I'm going to click my firmware folder, select folder. It's going to give us a prompt installing our firmware. And there we go. So we're on 18.0.0. And the last thing to do to make it portable, we're going to close the emulator. We're going to go into our user folder config folder and then qd-config.ini we're going to right click edit and we want to drag all the way to the bottom under paths game ders for path equals we just want the equals to have the word games next to it just like this file save close now we can open up our sudachi.exe one more time. Our game is still there. We can launch it if we want. You can go to Tools and go to the Home menu. 
So this is something that was in Yuzu. They never got around to incorporating it, but there it is. And the same thing with Suyu has it as well. Um, so you can launch your games from here if you so choose, or you can just launch them directly from here. And there we go. So that is how you set up Sudachi and make it completely portable. There's other things that you're going to want to do in regards to setting your graphics settings and your controller settings and all that good stuff. But that's all personal preference. So that's going to do it for me. Really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.